Uh, hello and welcome to another uh, One Piece chapter reaction video. Uh, today we got chapter 1022, The Stars Take the Stage. Um, and here with me is Marco. Hi, man. Hi, Kevin. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. So I'm working from home. So that's good again. And I think you have two little announcements for our viewers. Well, I would say one little one and a big one. Um, the little one is... Uh, I'm going to give you a hint, guys. <laughs> yeah. We got now a soundboard to make our uh, reaction videos a little bit more authentic. And I hope it'll... it'll It'll make the reaction videos more interesting for you guys. Um, Marco yeah, we won't it. overuse it. We won't overuse it, guys. But it should be a, a better experience, I guess. Yeah, um, I'm the one operating it. Marco can't hear it because uh, we don't want to have weird um, sound loops going on in the video. So yeah, That's full that. on trust. Okay. <laughs> I will use this power wisely. Yeah. Maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> Just spam the same he, he sound. Won't. He won't. He won't. <laughs> yeah. And the big announcement is uh, we will actually live stream the reaction video for chapter uh, 1024 on YouTube. Yeah. So um, look forward to that. And Marco, you got the, the date and time for it? Yeah, it will be on, um, on September the 3rd. Um, 9.30 a.m. Central European time. It is shortly uh, shortly after midnight in Kevin's time. I think it's Western time, I guess. Uh, you're asking the wrong guy. I'm, I'm really terrible with that, but I think it's, it's, <laughs> West, West, it's West, West Coast time. In, yeah. West Pacific time zone, so yeah. I think it's that one. Yeah. <laughs> But That's yeah. the one. <laughs> yeah, it will be our first live stream, guys. And maybe some of you will find the time to tune in. We would love it. Yeah, and um, as, a, as a little bonus, we will take on questions after the um, initial, uh, like the, the first reaction. And uh, yeah, we actually, will... we, could, we could actually look at the chat because the chapter comes out. Uh, we won't get spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Nobody can spoil us because the chapter just came out. Yeah, but it would make things a little bit messy and too long. And I think we should just react to the video and and then uh, we will talk with with uh, viewers and answer questions yeah. or have have a nice one piece discussion for uh, a couple of minutes. To be honest, so yeah, of course. Yeah, if there are some funny comments, of course, we will react to those. <laughs> yeah, those, I will look at the chat. <laughs> the, those will uh, will get included in the video, of course. So, Of course, yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, Marco, uh, I'm going to start with the um, cover. Cover, um, what's it called? Cover request. Yep. And you'll go yeah. with the first page, I guess. All right. Yeah. So here we see a cover request by Rai. A frog playing hide and seek with the Tantata tribe on uh, hyd hydrangea flowers, and okay. yeah, it's nothing too exciting. It's <laughs> no, nice. Not really. I mean, it's nice to see all those characters again, but it's, yeah, it's it's there. But, yeah, it's not. I'd like a new cover story, a real story. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, but anyways, guys, the chapter is called The Stars Take the Stage. Probably the All-Stars, I guess, or just all the big guns. But, okay, let's see. Uh, now we're on page one. The battle rages on. The Samurai Pirate Alliance started this raid with an army of four, five, uh, 5,400 against the Beast Pirates, 30,000 man crew. Okay, I like this introduction. The narrator is hyping up the the final fights. And the numbers. After, yeah, after a valiant struggle and Otama's Kibidango strategy, the disparity in military strength has shrunk. And, we'll, we will, and there we see where everyone got defeated. Who's who? Black Maria, Page One, Alti, and Sasuke. And the mighty Flying Six have been defeated. 
Okay. Well, yeah, why are they... Oh, no. Those are just separate shots. I wanted to say, why are they li uh, lying all on top of each other, like, piled up? <laughs> <laughs> that would be Not funny as heck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next page. Uh, now Onigashima approaches mainland Wano. Only 15 minutes remain. And we see a fat Luffy. He is ready to fight. Till it reaches the flower capital. Okay, only 15, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. That's a short fight. <laughs> okay, okay. You know what's gonna happen? In 15 minutes, Luffy will begin his fight against Kaido. For one hour, and Momo will, like Odin, hold the island up for one hour. Yeah, I think that's gonna happen. 100%. Because Kaido won't be defeated in 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. That the battle will, will, will be one hour, exactly one hour, and Momo holds it up. Yeah, maybe he's gonna use his dragon form and just puts it in clouds. To let it flow. Yeah, like, yeah, but the clouds like probably that. he's not used to the clouds yet, and it will uh, take a lot of stamina from him. Yeah. All right. Okay, but that's uh, that's some good time stuff. I I like this. All right. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Castle interior right. third floor. Fire, Kurosumi Orochi. Uh. Oh, uh, Kurosumi Orochi. How could you swear allegiance for a man like him for Kurokushu? Put it out. Ningpo clone jutsu. Aya! The Onibabanshu must always serve the current shogun. Ningpo earlobe crackers. <laughs> what the hell? What the heck? Okay. Is that? <laughs> we were getting this fight? Okay, no. Not for a long time, I guess. Yeah, so next page. Where do your loy loyalties lie? You're clinging onto a ghost. Are you talking about Odin-sama? You've given uh, away where your uh, where your real body is, and he smacks him with the earlobe. You were never suited to be a ninja. It doesn't matter how adept you are at ninjutsu. You always wore your heart on your sleeve. Those feelings, they are the reason we cannot rest. That day, we cried, laughed, and died alongside Odin-sama. We are all ghosts, hell-bent on fulfilling our master's dream. Oh, okay, these are nice shots. We are not here merely out of a sense of duty. Where's Kawamatsu, actually? Ah, uh, I don't know. Was he at the, at the life stage? Mm, is he on his way with... With Kiku? Um, uh, no, sorry. With uh, Neko Mamushi, with ne with Neko Mamushi to, uh, to the live stage? No, I think it was Iso, actually, that went with Kawamatsu. Okay. Um, every last one of us is fighting because of that emotional bond. Even if it kills us, we won't be able to rest until we have seen, it, uh, seen this through. Tonight will mark the end of Orochi and Kairos' reign. That will be a brilliant new dawn tomorrow with Momonosuke's shoulder as Shogun. And I hope these three are dead. <laughs> I really hope it. Yeah. Okay. I can see Kinemon. I can see Kinemon being buried alive, and Luffy mm -hmm. and Momonosuke will find him when they fly up, and then he will die. I can see that happening. But I hope he's dead. <laughs> All right, let's see. Third floor. Hawkins, you bastard. How many meat shields do you have left? Huff, huff. Ooh, the killer versus Hawkins fight. Nice. Oh, yes. Not too many. I'm really starting to sweat here. <laughs> I really feel for you. And he's attacking killer. Killer is going and hitting him again. And killing another meat shield off, I guess. Oh no, I may not have many left, but you should consider whose life is currently standing in for mine. And oh, next shit. panel we will see Kit and Law versus Big Mom. Mm. Okay, second floor Law and Kit versus Big Mom. Hey, what's wrong, Eustace? Yeah, 
and he got stabbed. Mm. Oh shit! Oh shit! What the hell? Something stabbed me. Your straw man. You didn't. Woo! Okay. I have to admit, it would have been fun to watch you unknowingly kill, kill Kid, but seeing you agonize or fighting back should be amusing to you, don't you think? If you find a way to kill me, you will just be murdering your own captain. Okay. Now then, let's see how you choose to entertain me. I know you'll try your best. Fa 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 fa. I sure have a twisted sense of humor. Okay, so how will he? Uh, okay, maybe I've got some. No, no. Okay, we got a towel page spread. Cal Dome Life Floor, and there are the stars. <laughs> Listen up, you treacherous come. You're all gonna pay for turning your backs on the beast pirates. Where's Marco, son? Please do something. He's already at his. Oh my god. He's already at this limit. We are going to have to fight for ourselves. Okay. Yeah, that's not Sam good. Goro san, are you okay? Uh, crap. Fighting both of them together is kind of rough. They are looking for Soro Shuro. Who can stop them now? If this keeps up, they'll exterminate the entire floor. Chopper, Miyagi, if the treatment isn't working, take the moss, mommy, and get out of here. <laughs> We've already given him the shot, but it's taking longer than expected to take the effect. It's because his body is in really bad shape. Hang in there, Soro, my lad. <laughs> oh, he's still the old, uh, the old chopper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Marcos defeated. No, he will come back, right? He is at his limit, using up all his flames to keep, like, basically the 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 guys alive. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, next page. I'm right here. Come get me. Oh, and we see Sanji kicking uh, Queen right in the face. <laughs> Sangoro san, find Roronora Soro and finish him. They're apparently trying some weird healing method. Don't let him recover. Understood. That was King giving the command. And we see. Oh, Perispero. Damn beasts! I can't see <laughs> clearly through all the dust they're making. I'm going to snuff out Windsmoke Sanji with my own hands, Perorin. If you married pudding like you were supposed to, we wouldn't have had to join forces with these brutes. That's him, <laughs> boss! Oh, yeah. Perorin and die! And there he is. You churma reject. Ooh, next there page is. is for you. <laughs> yeah. Let's take this outside. I'm here to avenge Pedro. Yeah! You're not gonna get away. There he is. Rorono Asoro. They found us. Run. Protect Soroshuro. He was injured. Fighting for the cause. Oh, ah, okay. it's King. And King stands before them. Before Soro. And using flames. Ah, leave us be, whippersnapper. <laughs> Damn it, you're always such a pain in the ass, Mosshead. And Sanji runs and in Marco and back. Marco blocks it. Immort immortal Thistle. And on Divine Flame from King. And next page is yours again. I used to hear you rumors about a certain fire conjuring race that lived on top of the red line. King of the flames, huh? Is he known before Kaido? I don't know. Because he's King the Wildfire, but he calls him King, King of the Flames. Okay. Unbelievable. Marco, you're still breathing? You Whitebeard pirates should accept death already. Ah, I give. This is more than enough for me. I've done my part. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, he's coming, he's coming. Yep. He's breaking out, he's breaking out. And I got the perfect thing for that. <laughs> it's just double breaking page, out double, of some double, money. double page is yours, double page is yours. Nice. Oh, this is great, it's oh, this is great. It's time for the stars to take the stage. See that? Oh, he's all better. 
Three Sword Style, Diab Diablo Chande, Purgatory, Mutton, Onigiri Shot, <laughs> and Sorrow slashes <sighs> through King and Sanchi just hits Queen. This is awesome. The two wings in action. Uh, this, uh, whoa, the Straw Hats are amazing. Hey, Curly Brows, if we win this, I know it'll finally be in sight. Luffy becoming King of the Pirates. Uh, One Piece, Chapter 1022, and... 10 out of 10. <laughs> nah, 9 out of 10. <laughs> it was I good. I gave it a 10. It was I good. gave it a 10. But... I Oof. give it a 10, because everything is set up for the final fights. I love this. Yeah. Man, and, and they did some damage on on the uh, on on King and and Queen. So, yeah. Oh, look, at, look at the coloring of the final page. Oh yes. <laughs> nice. But a uh, fire using race. Let's hope this is really a two on two. Mm. So. Not one is fighting king and one is fighting queen. They're both fighting together, I hope. Yeah. This would be amazing. Oh, this is great. This is great. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, before we go to your rating, uh, yeah. I, have, yeah. I have one theory <laughs> for... Yeah. Hawkins versus Killer. Um, because Killer is not worried about, worried about uh, Kit being the final doll. He says at the end, fa fa fa, you sure have a twisted sense of humor. Yeah, I mean... Uh, okay, he, he, he has to laugh because of the smile. <laughs> uh, but I, I think he means the love and he has his ways to fight him anyway. So, what he's going to do, he, he won't kill Hawkins, of course. But he will take his arm, because that won't hurt Kit. He has no arm. Yeah, that's a perfect theory right there. And he stores the, the dolls in his body, so maybe he cuts out the doll and then he can finish him off. Because yeah, he... that was my that was initially my theory that Law will fight Hawkins at one point and he will room the the dolls out of Hawkins. Yeah, that would but, have been too overpowered. Yeah. Hawkins wouldn't have uh, stood a chance there. Yeah, that's true. And he didn't use maybe, it when when Hawkins had the dolls of his subordinates in him. Yeah, maybe kid, maybe, maybe Hawkins. Uh, Hawkins. Uh, Killer knows Kit more than anyone else, right? Mm -hmm. Or better than anyone else. Maybe underneath his clothes, Kit had some other metal parts, which Hawkins, uh, which Killer can attack. Yeah, he knows maybe. exactly what is metal and what not in Kit. I think the thing with the arm is probably the best bet, though, because it's... I think if he cuts off the metal arm, Kit wouldn't even care. He would just use his powers again and reattach it. Yeah, but the thing is, he can't uh, make him unconscious. Because Kip would be unconscious, unconscious, probably. Yeah, but Law is there, so... Yeah, but Big Mom is there. <laughs> True. So if, one, if one of them, them is unconscious, it's a one-on-one -on -one against Big Mom, and yeah, no chance. Yeah, no, just saying that Law is, Law is a doctor and he might pull something off so Kid won't die. And Killer just attacks him with, with a, I don't know, finishing move. And, you know, he just trusts in Kid to survive. Nah, I don't think this will happen. I think he, he needs to defeat Hawkins without making him unconscious. Or cutting out the doll somehow. Yeah, like Could with be. Pika and the giant uh, stone assimilation yeah. figure he made. Yeah. True. That could happen. 
I don't think so. Kit's too too important still. Yeah, Kit is the only one besides Luffy with Conqueror's Haki in here. Of yeah. the good ones. So Kit has to And Sora. Um, and probably oh, Law. Of course. Of course. So, <laughs> yeah, Law can Law can still get it, right? Yeah. Um but Kit should be the only one who has the kind of attacks Luffy can make. He it, it, it hasn't learned it yet, but he can also learn it in this fight, I think. Mm. The Conqueror Saki coding, and which would be the only way to defeat or damage Big Mom on his side. Yeah. And um, maybe, because I still don't think they will defeat Big Mom, but I... You remember my theory that Luffy defeats both the Onko at the same time? Mm-hmm. With uh, King Kong Gatling or something, I don't know. But maybe they can damage Big Mom to this point that Law can room him and Kit out of the situation to the, back to the rooftop where Luffy and the others are fighting. And that's how Luffy can defeat both of them at the same time. Or uh, uh, Luffy just breaks through the roof with a massive attack. And that could basically be. Yeah, that Big could Mom be. gets into it by chance. Yeah. yeah. Well, the only thing, Luffy can't um, King Kong gathering this island straight to the ground because there will, there will be the flower capital. Yeah. So there needs to be another way. It, it can't be straight down, maybe from the side. Maybe something like maybe, that. Maybe he shoots them from the side directly into Mount Fuji. Yeah, we'll see. There's there's too many open <laughs> variables here. We, we can't yeah, really but, say for sure. But the final attack can definitely can't be um, straight down. Down, like always, <laughs> like the yeah. Dofi, like like pretty much half half the the boss fights we've seen. Yeah, because this is not Res Rosa. The flower capital is important to the story. This can't be destroyed. Hmm. Well, the palace is important. I guess not the capital itself, but the palace probably has some ancient information and the road poneglyph, so this can't be destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see that anyway. I mean, after Luffy defeats both Yonkos, you know, the, the usual feast and and they're all happy and then probably some some stuff like uh, Robin talking to uh, Momonosuke and him revealing more information about rogue pornoglyphs and whatnot. Mm. And with the book, uh, with the log book from Odin, I mean, there's... There must be something that he will tell her, which will help yeah. Luffy in some huge way. Yeah. And maybe there is something stored in the flower capital. I don't know. But Kaido said there is something really important about Wano. Yeah. That's true. Maybe the road poneglyph is actually in the mountain. That in Mount be. Fuji. But I think because... Kaido already has mm-hmm. it. And yeah, maybe it's already on yeah, Fukushima. Yeah. He wants something else out of Wano. That's that's true. But he definitely knows where the road pony glyph is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think there's something important about Devil Fruits, that uh, something that connects Devil Fruits and Wano, because why else would he specifically go for that um, really rare mythical so on Devil Fruit? Yeah. Like mm. I said, maybe it only works in Wano, like or on, it only awakens in Wano. But what is there to to awaken it? And if it is an awakening, if that is how Soan fruits awaken, or special mythical Soan fruits. Um, well, Kaido's fruit is definitely awakened because yeah. I think the awakening is climbing up the waterfall. Yeah, I think that's the awakening when he turns into a dragon. Maybe it's similar yeah. for Yamato, and maybe. Maybe uh, Don Flamingo also awakened his fruit on Wano, so maybe there is something that boosts Devil Fruit. Yeah. Oh, one one thing about this. <laughs> Yesterday I saw a, a new One Piece YouTuber. Um, 
I don't remember her name now, but she was reacting to like One Piece characters and oh, just the art style of the characters. Choi and girl? she won. No, no, no. No. It's a completely new one. She just started with the series. She she's on episode twenty something like that. <laughs> but before she she started, she was uh, some fans sent her some One Piece characters, the designs, and she reacted to them. What she thinks they are, and are they villains? Are they good ones? Are they important? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And one of them showed her Kaido. <laughs> she has no name, not a, nothing, anything. Mm-hmm. But she's like, okay, looks like Blackbeard and looks like a Willem and looks like a koi fish or a dragon. <laughs> yeah, as if she has no idea. No, that she, she's... No, 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 she reacted to this beard. That this, this looks like a koi oh, beard. Yeah. No, no, she has no idea. When, when you look at her videos, she has, really has no idea what that is. Okay, she has no idea of One Piece whatsoever. Because you can see it with the other characters. She has no idea of anything. Ah, okay. But with Kaido, she got koi fish and dragon. She has no idea who Blackbeard is. And she's like, okay, this looks like a, like a villain, like a bad guy um, of one or two arcs. She's like, okay, she it's the, the bad guy of one arc. And yeah. She has no idea. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Yeah. So... But okay, what do you think will happen next chapter? Oh, that's a good point. Um, we'll see the fight. Well, there's there's two things we'll see. So, um, I think the first thing we will see is Neko Mamushi fighting uh Parasparo. He already rushed in there and started, so that's gonna. That's going to get finished. Um, I f- yeah. think, or I feel like we see the conclusion to Raizo's fight. Man, there's so many fights just in this chapter. Um, yeah, no, we got to get fights finished. So, e- yeah, I, I think we might see two fights finished. And that would be Raizo and uh, uh, Nikomamushi's fight. I think um, Killer's fight is way too important for the plot. So we will yeah. have to wait for that one for the chapter after that. And then... Uh, yeah, Sorrow and Sanji's fights will be probably two chapters, I would say. Because one chapter would probably be a little too, too little for... Like, um tough enemies like that what I think about this is that we will see the next three to four chapters glimpses or five to six pages of Sora and Sanji versus King and Queen Mm -hmm. and other fights concluding in these three to four chapters or maybe two to three chapters I can't Nekomamushi versus Paro Sparrow, Raizo versus Fukurokushu, yep. and Jack versus uh, Iwarashi. I think all those three have to conclude in the next two chapters. Max. Uh, yeah, I would say two per chapter. Maximum. Because if if yeah. Oda goes uh, further with that number, it's... Dead. No, we, we wouldn't see glimpses of the of the other things happening. Yeah, but Sora and Sanji versus King and Queen will be in every chapter now. Even if it's just a glimpse or I think I really think we will see a little bit more. I think six to seven pages will be Sanji and Sora versus King and Queen each each chapter now. And one chapter at the end will be fully for them. Yeah. To there conclude will, the fight. Yeah, there will be one one chapter solely for for them to finish the fight. I yeah. believe that too. Because we, we know the anime will the anime will extend this to four episodes this fight, so it doesn't matter if Oda shortens it for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but again, pretty in, uh, interesting information like the King's Race, King of the Flames. 
and yeah, what's up on top of the red line? Yeah. Is this some kind of ancient race living besides the celestial dragons? Maybe. I, I always uh, thought it, he was he was like from Skypia because of the wings. Yeah, but this is something new. I don't know. They might be that that race might be similar to to Skypians. Um. Uh, you have read those fan chapters, right, of O'Hara? Some. Not all. Um, okay. But I think you've got to this point where um, then, okay, it's a fan chapter, but the narrator is like um, the castle underneath Mary Shoa, which is called Tartarus, and like the Devil's Castle and the Underworld. And oh, so you maybe think this, that's... Maybe this... Maybe these are ancient or king's race, ancient guards of Mary Shoa, or they and they knew too much, so they got the they got rid of them. I don't know. King I of just the flames. Just the wings really make it weird for me because, I mean that links him really close to Skypians with their wings. Yeah, true. And if you think about it, the red line is so high it can't it can't be climbed. <laughs> it, it's pretty high up, so it would make sense if they're somewhat close those races, but else I, I but, got nothing on it. But besides that, still King is probably the head jailer of Impel Down before Magellan or Magellan or Shiryu. He has to be. Because I mean, it's the same outfit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I think Kaido, but he never got out of Impel Down because we know that Luffy's breakout was the first one. Besides, um, oh my God, uh, uh, what's he called? Uh, you know what I mean, Shiki. Yeah, Shiki, Shiki. Shiki I've... and Luffy were the only two outbreaks in history. So maybe Kaido was. He took King with him when he got transported to Impel Down. He didn't break out. He broke out before that, before he went there. No, I think and... I think Kaido never broke out. I think No 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 he, not of in, not of Impel Down itself, but of the warship. He was he got transported on and Ki and King was the one transporting him. No That's you, the thing I get. You know what I think that um Maybe we will get a flashback. Maybe we won't. But that's that's just my theory that King was Impel Down's uh, director, like like yeah. Magellan. Um, he, Kaido got transported there. King was interested in Kaido because he was an emperor, and why he got caught because never before was an emperor just caught like that. And Kaido just spills the beans and says he doesn't want to live anymore. And then um, yeah. King actually accompanies the ship to Kaido's execution. And they try, like, we know Kaido has been tried to be executed a couple of times and he just doesn't die. So he, yeah. he went to uh, Kaido's uh, execution and Kaido didn't die again. And yeah. maybe uh, got Kaido, Kaido said something or, or, you know, he got somewhat inspired, like you said. Yeah, it's like Luffy and Bartolomeo. Yeah. Bartolomeo saw Luffy surviving and... Um, oh, shit. Uh, what's it, the island called again? <laughs> um, I think we're talking any Lobby, right? That's no, 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 no. No, no, no. Well, Luffy almost got killed by Buggy, the place where Roger... Oh, Lockdown. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. No problem. <laughs> oh, okay. The was most early that place. Was hmm? it really that early? I can't remember it. With Bartolomeo. Yeah. Yeah, we got a flashback in Dress Rose that Bartolomeo saw Luffy surviving the uh, surviving Buggy's attack because of the lightning bolt, and, be oh, and yeah. Bartolomeo got inspired by that because because of destiny, Luffy survived, and I have to follow him. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Because that's what I mean by maybe King 
saw something similar in Cairo. He can't die. Mm-hmm. And I need to follow this guy. Yeah, I feel something like that will happen. Uh, uh, we'll, we will see a, a flashback. Yeah, or something Queen like and, and Cairo got experimented on, right? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And Queen was one of those guys experimenting on him, probably with Church and Vegapunk. Yeah, that makes and sense. He took him with him. Definitely. With the other ones, I have no clue. Like, Jack, I, I got no clue how, how you could, you know, put the... Uh, Jack is later. Jack came later. Yeah. I think Jack has nothing to do with all of them because in the flashback of Odin, when after Odin got executed, we saw King and Queen, but there's no Jack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that, that all makes sense. That fits well for King and Queen's backstory and how they got um to uh to be in his crew and i think maybe it was like that that uh roger and garb defeated kaido and that's when he got caught and that's when uh kaido actually met up with king and queen like short shortly after that shortly after a rocks uh incident yeah big the 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 only thing just uh, because Big Mom gave Kaido the fruit mm -hmm. right after the rocks incident. After God Welly. So before he got, probably before he got caught, right? I don't know. That's the, that's the weird part. Where, when, when does the, the drink, uh, the, the fish, fish fruit tie into No, 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 no. Kaido did not get caught at the God Welly incident. Because Kaido probably took God well, took God Valley with him after the fight. How you? How do you mean took God Valley with him? Because God Valley disappeared without a trace, and we don't know how. I don't think that was Kaido. No way. Uh, I think he had to activate the the fish fish fruit in Wano. I think that's how he how he became a dragon. He definitely. Didn't lift the the whole uh, welly away. I mean, it's it's possible if he if he got the fruit really early while still being on Rox's py uh, pirate crew. No, no, no. He got the fruit right after the God Valley incident. Yeah, then know it, that. it can't be like he. I don't think well, he activated well, that's true. The, the fruit that's right true. there. That's just a little too too fast. That's true. Okay, well, but there's still a theory how. God, well, it disappeared. That's still a mystery. Ugh, it'll be like Atlantis. It sank. <laughs> I think he's gonna go for that. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> like because the other, the other theory, what Onigashima really is, besides God, well, is the the hole in the middle of Punk Hazard. I always thought the hole in the middle was because Akainu and. Um... Uh, damn it! What's his name? Frosty the Snowman. A clash I think there. the hole. I I think the hole was there before that. Before they fought. Uh, one moment. I thought the hole was created by their fight, and the the water from from the ocean surrounding filled it when they clashed. Like after after they fought. I'm I'm pretty certain that this theory is true. That Onigashima is. Um. Uh, it could be punk. It is punk is, is punk hazard because one moment I will show it to you. Uh, what about uh Skypia or Gaia? It could be from there what, too. What? 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 Sorry. It could be from Gaia too. Gaia? No, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> okay, wait a moment. I will send it to you. Now, on Discord. Why can't I send you a message? What's going on? Okay, I'll put it in the, in the One Piece group in a moment. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to look at it later. Discord's kind of wonky today. It's just a small picture. It's just one megabyte. Because this design at the entrance of Punk Hazard... Oh, yeah, I is... know the design. Is Onigashima. It, it looks the same. It could be, or it could be Kaido. Like, there's still room to to argue. 
Yeah, it's either they got a, a whole island to experiment specifically on Kaido, or because the island looks like that. <laughs> yeah, it's either one of those. Yeah, it's either Kaido's or it, hat or or yeah. the the hat on on Onigashima. You're right. It's one of those. I I wouldn't bet on either one. It's both so possible. Yeah, no. because that, that's a, that's another thing. Why Marco talks about that? Oh, that's that's what it's called nowadays, Onigashima. Why would he say that? Because it has to be something we know already, and it's a mystery for the viewer. Yeah, it won't be a new name, and because it won't be a surprise for the viewer when Marco says that. Oh, you got a good point there. It, it must be something that connects to to a different island. Yeah, the only thing I can't remember that the this lake or this hole was so big that it can fit Onigashima in there. But I think it's still the most possible theory out there about this. Yeah, it it could also be Chaya, the other eye of Chaya, which is missing. That's too far away, right? I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think I don't think Kaido can, uh, or someone can casually fly an island over the red line <laughs> past Marisha. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. <you laughs> because be when right. we, because when we think about it, Punk Hazard and Wano, this is not so far away. Because we got Dress Rosa. Mm-hmm. After Punk Hazard. And after that, we got on one side Whole Cake and on one side Wano. It's not that far away. Yeah. Okay, that's They true. didn't travel that far in the new world. Because after after Dress Rosa, they were like diverging to left and right. Yeah. Now that you say it out loud, uh, I think you're right. That makes way more sense. Yeah, but okay. But we have no idea. Um, so what's your chapter rating? Uh, 9 out of 10. A solid a nine? 9? Yeah. Okay, it's, I said it already, right? Yeah. I think there's, <laughs> like, we have pretty much all, it's just, it's a lot of fights starting and non-ending, and it's kind of, it, it doesn't feel like much progression. Yeah. That's all. Like that that's the only thing that, that really um didn't make it a ten for me because there's just I mean there's a little bit of information about King and mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's just a that tiny bit we got there. And it's all yeah. just starts uh, uh it's all just uh fights starting, so but I guess we will see King's backstory or where he lived and some information of himself in Kaido's flashback, mm. right? Yeah. I don't think he will He will get a flashback on his own. We will see all of that in Kaido's, I think. Yeah. And I, I still think that the the hat, the, the, the skull belonged to... Uh, what was he called? Uh, the continent the, the ancient, pusher. Ancient ores. Yeah. Ors, yeah. But there's always the continent polar of Moria, but this is probably not the original one. No, it's it's just a uh, uh, descendant of. Uh, he says yeah. it is a descendant of the big uh, Ors, the continent polar. Yeah. True. Yeah, it has to be him. Yeah. And probably Sunisha was an arch enemy <laughs> I don't of him. Know. <laughs> I mean, if Sunisha really gets to Onigashima, we will see. But it could be, like I said, I, I mean, it's still possible Sunisha comes and holds back the island for a while, but fails to do so. And Momo has to step up. Yeah. That would also make it, like, uh, not too weird if if there's like a really long fight with Luffy because first Sunisha steps in holds the island I don't know for half an hour and then just doesn't have any more 
power to mm. do so and then Momo has to step in and do it for another half hour. I don't know. Yeah. Because Sunisha he brought, he has to come back at some point. Yeah. To f- fulfill something or yeah, f- to fulfill his promise to Joy Boy. Yeah, and not only that. Because, yeah. Also mm-hmm. because all the minks are here. That as well, yeah. And after Love Tail gets found, there is no point for Sunisha to walk mm-hmm. after this to protect the, ro- the road pony cliff. Okay, not when Love Tail gets found, but when the world government gets defeated, there's no point for Sunisha to walk anymore. Mm-hmm. They, it won't be an island which will eternally walk on top of Sunisha. That won't happen. It, it, he will die probably after delivering so on Wano. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Or he will just he will just die, the elephant, and he's so big that so after he falls, so will be like on sea surface. <laughs> yeah, that's also a, a big possibility. But I yeah. think. I think so, and Wano will be reunited. They will yeah. be one island. I think so too, yeah. Hmm. So, got anything else here? Mm. I'm looking at Dreiser versus Fukuroku shoe. Well, once again, I hope the three already dead scabbards stay dead? Mm. It's still weird to me that Kinemon died second. Yeah, <laughs> but... <that's laughs> a little early. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, it's war. Anything can happen. Just weird on Oda's part that he did. That he killed off Kinemon second if he's dead. Mm. Yeah, it is weird. Yeah. Oh, and I like the beginning of the chapter. Um, the narr- the narrator ta- the narrator talking about how Wano will crash on the flower capital in fifteen minutes. Yeah. Um, that puts the time pressure on it, just like with Dressrosa, or yeah. Basta, or all of those arcs. Because I guarantee you, Momonosuke in his big dragon form will deliver Luffy on top. Then will be there will be some con- some conversation or Kaido's backstory when he sees Momo. Yeah, and then he will be like, "Yeah, you're too late," and he will crash the whole thing down. But Suddenly he can't because there are clouds again. Or Sunisha the... holds it up. One of two. It's still a possibility. He's just slow, He's just slow right? I don't <laughs> he know. won't be here. He won't be here out of nowhere. I don't think so. He, Kaido will be, will be surprised that he suddenly can't crash it down anyway. And then Momonosuke, Momonosuke is not. Uh, besides Luffy, Marco, and Yamato anymore. And they are wondering where he is. And then Kairo is like, is he? And yeah. And Momonosuke will be in dragon form with clouds ho- together holding it up. And I, I don't know. Because, I... because, Wa- because Wano needs to see this. The, the people need to see this. Uh, this good pink dragon holding this up. I think that they need, to, they need to see Momonosuke doing this. No, I. Uh, this is how I think it is because if you go to the only fifteen minutes remain, you see Onigashima above, basically the beach. Just, uh, basically not really. Well, it's far halfway. It's in... half. No, it's it's halfway. You, you see the, the the middle panel on the right side. Yeah. No, but if you look at Luffy, he is at the beach. And right behind him, you see Onigashima. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I think, you know, I think it's just barely on the beach. And I think it's a strong possibility that um, 
Sunisha will hold it up and Momo doesn't have to step in yet. And then uh, Sunisha just lacks the power and Kaido drives it further towards, like, right above the flower capital, wants to uh, push it down there, and then that's when Momo steps in. I agree with that, but I still think Sunisha has to do something. Like, Sunisha mm. is, has still not done what 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 he has to do. Hmm. That's my point. Oh, uh, one thing, when we look at the map uh, of Wano, Every time Oda draws Wano's map, the huge Mount Fuji, he draws this every time. And there is no point at all drawing this. Yeah. Because the other the other parts of Wano don't have features as well. So the mountain is important. And there are also these big mountain gods living there, these swines, right? Yeah, the whites, the wild. The oh. pig, the mountain. Yeah, the, the boars. Yeah. They're protecting the road pony cliff or something else. Or something, something is in this else, mountain. Yeah. I think so too. Because, because Oda wouldn't draw this mountain without. It, it, the mountain has no point, right? Yeah. So why would he draw it every time at every map without any features giving to Ud? Why wouldn't he draw Ud on there or the mm -hmm. winter region? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. It makes sense. Yeah, I agree. But we'll, but, okay. see. we'll see. We'll see, yeah. In 2022. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. That we won't find this out in 2021. Maybe the fight with Kaido concludes in 2021. I don't think so either. It will be January, February. But in 2022, we will find out all those mysteries, uh, the in-between archive, and mm. uh, 2022 will be wild. Yeah. This I, will be... Poo. <laughs> but I like the title of, of, the, of the chapter really, really a lot, because it's actually yeah. suggesting the all-stars, and with the stars take the stage, actually, uh, Sanji and Sora were meant... That's like, yeah. I mean, that's just perfect. The perfect. He could have called title. it the the wings take the stage. Yeah. No, no, but, the stars but... because because of Marco's remark. Yeah, they might be, because Marco doesn't call them the wings of the pirate king. Robin did. Yeah, Robin last did. chapter or two chapters ago. I yeah. think last chapter. But okay. Anyways, that was good, guys. So, quick reminder: we will, of course, react to One Piece chapter uh, ten twenty three as well. Mm -hmm. But we won't be on time because I won't be here on Friday. So we will react to this on Sunday next week. Um, but for chapter one thousand and twenty four, in two weeks from now, uh, we will have our first live stream on youtube and on youtube yeah and we will happily discuss with do this with you all this chapter yeah we'll we'll and... make a, a time slot so you can you can talk with with us about the yeah. chapter and stuff yeah so i mean be there and and you know uh share your views on... on yeah we will set a timer for it but about two days earlier or one day earlier, we will set a time of when the when the stream will start. But yeah, be there and and share your opinions and and theories with us. Yeah. And I'm still tweaking the soundboard, so I, I <laughs> didn't play a lot of sounds, and it won't be like the anime. Trust me, because I would I wouldn't <laughs> be able uh, I wouldn't be able to read because I would be constantly looking and trying to get the right sound effects, but. It's just something to throw in now and then to, yeah, uh, uh, make things a little I think, bit more. I, th I, th I think it's a, it's a fun idea. Yeah, you can just put in some sounds. That's a fun idea. But yeah, um, so I think that's it, right? 
We didn't leave anything I out. I, I, I don't think we have anything else to say, yeah? True. So, guys, uh, for this video, please comment, subscribe to our channel, please like the video, as always. And, yeah, I guess we see you next Sunday for 123. So, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, thank you, Marco. Fun as always. And fun as always, yeah. That was a good chapter. Um, oh, it was good, yeah. So, thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching and bye. See you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bye.